Welcome to Viosified. If your car's check engine light is on, it may be caused by a variety of reasons, ranging from minor issues to more serious problems. Let's explore some of the most common causes of why the check engine light, or CEL, is on. Faulty oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor measures the amount of oxygen in the exhaust and sends that information to the engine control module. Also known as the O2 sensor, it is an important component of the engine management system that monitors the amount of oxygen in the exhaust gases. A faulty or malfunctioning oxygen sensor can cause the check engine light to turn on because it can affect the engine's performance and emissions. If the oxygen sensor is not working properly, it may send incorrect readings to the engine control module, or ECM, about the amount of oxygen in the exhaust gases. This false reading can lead to an incorrect air-to-fuel mixture, poor fuel economy, and increased emissions. The ECM may also detect a problem with the oxygen sensor circuit, or signal, which can trigger the check engine light. Faulty gas cap. The gas cap seals the fuel tank and helps maintain proper fuel pressure. If it's loose, damaged, or missing, it can cause a vacuum leak in the evaporative emissions control system, which is designed to capture and store fuel vapors from the fuel tank and prevent them from escaping into the atmosphere. This leak can trigger the check engine light and set off an error code related to the evaporative emissions control system. Modern vehicles are equipped with an onboard computer system that monitors the fuel supply and can detect if there is a problem with the evaporative emissions control system, including a leak caused by a loose or damaged gas cap. Defective catalytic converter. The catalytic converter converts harmful gases into less harmful emissions. If it fails, it can cause an increase in emissions and a decrease in engine performance. A problematic catalytic converter can cause the check engine light to turn on because it is an important component of the vehicle's emissions control system. Its job is to convert harmful exhaust gases, such as carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide, into less harmful gases before they are released into the atmosphere. If the catalytic converter is not functioning properly, it can cause an increase in harmful emissions, which can trigger the check engine light and set off an error code related to the emissions control system. Modern vehicles have oxygen sensors, located before and after the catalytic converter, which measure the efficiency of the converter, by monitoring the levels of oxygen in the exhaust gases. If the sensors detect, that the levels of oxygen, after the catalytic converter, are too high, it can indicate that the converter is not doing its job properly. If the oxygen sensor detects, a decrease in efficiency, or a malfunction in the catalytic converter, it can cause, the check engine light to turn on. Common causes of catalytic converter failure include damage from overheating, contamination from engine oil, or coolant, or physical damage from road debris. Faulty spark plugs or ignition coils. The spark plugs and ignition coils work together to ignite the fuel and air mixture in the engine. Defective spark plugs or ignition coils can cause misfiring, which can result in rough idling, increased emissions, and decreased engine performance. The engine control module, or ECM, uses data from the sensors to adjust the fuel and air mixture and ignition timing to optimize engine performance. When any of the spark plugs are not firing, the ECM detects a problem with the combustion process and will often trigger the check engine light to alert the driver. The ECM can also store diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs, related to the misfiring cylinder, which can be read by a mechanic using an OBD2 scanner to determine the specific cause of the problem. Low oil pressure. The oil pressure warning light can turn on if the oil level is too low or if there's a problem with the oil pump or oil pressure sensor. If oil pressure is low, it can cause insufficient lubrication to the engine and cause serious damage and a decrease in engine performance. The oil pressure warning light is typically linked to a sensor that monitors the oil pressure in the engine. If the sensor detects low oil pressure, it sends a signal to the engine control module, which then triggers the check engine light to turn on. In addition, low oil pressure can also be caused by a malfunctioning oil pump, a clogged oil filter, or worn engine bearings. Running an engine with low oil pressure can cause severe damage to the moving parts of the engine, 
due to friction, so it's important to address the issue immediately. If the oil indicator light, or check engine light comes on, it's important to check the oil level right away, and top it off as required. If the oil pressure indicator light persists, take your car to a mechanic as soon as possible. If necessary, the oil pump or other components may need to be replaced. Dirty or defective mass airflow sensor. A faulty or dirty mass airflow sensor can trigger the check engine light because it is an essential component of the engine management system. The mass airflow sensor measures the amount of air entering the engine and sends that information to the engine control module to adjust the air and fuel mixture. If the mass airflow sensor is not functioning properly, it can send incorrect data to the ECM, causing the engine to run poorly and potentially causing damage to other components. This can trigger the check engine light to come on and generate an error code related to the mass airflow sensor. Faulty throttle position sensor. A faulty throttle position sensor can cause the check engine light to turn on because it can drastically affect the engine's performance and emissions. The throttle position sensor, or TPS, is responsible for sending a signal to the engine control module about the position of the throttle, allowing the ECM to adjust the air-fuel mixture and ignition timing accordingly. If the TPS is faulty, dirty, or sending an incorrect signal, it can cause the engine to run poorly, affecting acceleration, idle speed, and fuel economy, and also causing emissions to exceed allowable limits. As a result, the ECM will typically detect a fault in the TPS and trigger the check engine light. Faulty exhaust gas recirculation. The exhaust gas recirculation, or EGR valve, is an important component in the engine's emissions system. Its primary function is to reduce the formation of harmful nitrogen oxide emissions by recirculating a portion of the exhaust gases back into the engine's intake manifold. The EGR valve works by allowing a controlled amount of exhaust gases to flow back into the combustion chambers. By introducing a certain amount of inert exhaust gases into the combustion process, the EGR valve helps to lower the combustion temperature, which reduces the formation of NOx gases, a known contributor to air pollution and smog. The EGR valve is operated by the engine control module based on various factors such as temperature, engine load, and operating conditions. The ECM determines the appropriate amount of exhaust gas to recirculate in order to optimize combustion efficiency and emissions control. Any problems with the EGR will cause the check engine light to turn on. Leak in the EVAP system. The Evaporative Emissions Control System, or EVAP system, is an essential component of a vehicle's emissions control system. Its primary function is to prevent the release of fuel vapors from the fuel tank and fuel system into the atmosphere. The EVAP system consists of various components, including the fuel tank, fuel filler neck, charcoal canister, purge valve, and a network of hoses. Fuel vapors produced in the fuel tank, especially when the vehicle is not in operation, are captured and stored in the charcoal canister. The charcoal canister contains activated carbon that absorbs the fuel vapors. When the engine is running, the ECM opens the purge valve, allowing intake manifold vacuum to draw the stored fuel vapors from the charcoal canister into the engine. The fuel vapors are then combusted in the engine during normal operation. The EVAP system also includes a network of pressure and vacuum sensors to monitor the integrity and performance of the system. If there is a leak or malfunction in the EVAP system, such as a loose or damaged gas cap, defective purge valve, or cracked hoses, the check engine light may turn on to alert the driver. The EVAP system helps reduce harmful volatile organic compounds and hydrocarbon emissions, which contribute to air pollution. It ensures that fuel vapors are captured and properly burned in the engine, rather than being released into the environment. Fault in the anti-lock braking system. The anti-lock braking system, or ABS, is a safety feature in vehicles that helps prevent the wheels from locking up during braking, improving the vehicle's stability and control. The ABS operates using various sensors and control modules to monitor wheel speed and prevent potential skidding on slippery or wet surfaces. While the ABS itself is not directly linked to the CEL, 
there are instances where an issue within the ABS can cause the check engine light to turn on. This can happen if the ABS shares certain components or sensors with the engine management system or other related systems. Some vehicles may have a shared sensor, such as the wheel speed sensor, which is used by both the ABS and the engine control module to monitor wheel speed and calculate various parameters. If there is a fault or malfunction in the ABS sensor or associated wiring, it may cause an error code to be generated and stored in the ECM. This can subsequently trigger the check engine light to turn on, indicating a problem that needs attention. In such cases, it's important to have the anti-lock braking system and associated components inspected and diagnosed by a qualified mechanic to determine the exact cause of the issue and perform any necessary repairs or sensor replacements. When the check engine light comes on, it's important to identify the error codes stored in the car's computer with an OBD2 scanner so you can determine the underlying issue. It is important to identify the cause and fix it as soon as possible. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing to Viosified Car DIY.